listeners. Yes, our God is great. The question is, do you have all that this great God has for you? <laughs> Thanks for joining us every Tuesday and Thursday at 1115 right here on this station. You are now listening to the Archangel Healing Temple of the Apostolic Faith Church. We are located at 13 Reba Christian Road, Natchez, Mississippi. Now, listen to the enriched Word of God from our very own Pastor Sam Watkins Jr. Sister K, thanks radio listeners. God is great and he is greatly to be praised. Friends, do you know that salvation can only come through Jesus? That's right. Not Buddha, not Mohammed, not the Pope, not the priest, not the president, not through ideology, Scientology, or humanism. Not through the works of the law, not by works, only through Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of Acts and verse number 12, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Yes, there is no other man and but that also there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. No other man, no other person, no other redeemer, no other mediator, no other intercessor, no other savior, no other man but the man Christ Jesus, God's only son. God manifested in the flesh. Nobody but Jesus. Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. Jesus told his disciples in John chapter 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh to the Father but by me. In this 14th chapter of John, Philip, perhaps thinking that he may be overlooking the Father, asked about the Father. Jesus, with the authority, he spoke as no man has spoken. He said, have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. It's in me. Look at me. I am the Savior. I have come to seek and to save the lost. The Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of wicked men, and they shall kill me, but I will rise again on the third day. John's Gospel, chapter number 10, puts it like this. He that entered, not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbing up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Uh, you must come in by the door. So in Acts chapter number 4 and verses 11 and 12, the Apostle Peter boldly proclaimed to the religious leaders of that day, the religious leaders, the rulers of the people, the elders of Israel, the renowned, distinguished pastors and bishops of that day. He boldly proclaimed. He said, the stone which you have set at naught by you builders has become the head of the corner. And let me tell you something else. You should not build without Jesus Christ. Paul says in Ephesians 4, 19 and 20, that we are fellow citizens with the saints and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets and Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. You know, my friends, we shouldn't build without Jesus. 
That's the reason after Jesus' ascension, the first message that was preached thereafter, recorded in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, the first message was about Jesus Christ. Yes, Peter, James, John, and the other apostles stood up on the day of Pentecost and preached Jesus. Paul, the apostle who was later added, said, I preach Christ and him crucified. The first Christians was not put in jail for a crime they did. They had robbed nobody. They didn't kill anyone. They were in prison because of that wonderful and powerful name of Jesus. Uh, that name which, are, which is above all names. That name that every knee shall bow to and every tongue shall one day confess that Jesus is Lord. Everybody going to say Jesus is Lord. Buddha going to say Jesus is Lord. Muhammad going to say Jesus is Lord. Unbelievers going to say Jesus is Lord. Those who persecuted the name of Christ is going to say Jesus is Lord. So Peter said in verse number 12, Not only have you rejected and set aside this stone, but let me say one other thing to you. Neither is there salvation in any other name. Uh, the man is gone. He has ascended. But he left salvation through his name. He left salvation. He left healing. He left deliverance. Uh, he left eternal life. It's all through his name. Colossians verse number 3 and Chapter 3 and verse number 17 says, And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Yes, when I pray, I pray in Jesus' name. When I bless my food, I bless it in Jesus' name. Uh, when I see danger coming, I say, Oh, Jesus. When I cast out devils, I do it in the name of Jesus. Uh, when I wanted my sins washed away, I was baptized in the name of Jesus. When I wanted God's Holy Spirit, I call on the name of Jesus. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. No other name but the name of Jesus. Please come and visit with us here at Archangel 13 Reba Christian Road. That's going north on MLK, 1st Street, past Steam Plant Road. Our services are each Sunday with Sunday school starting at 9.45 a.m. and morning worship at 11 and also Sunday evening services at 6 o'clock p.m. Our Bible classes are each Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. nightly. You may call us at 601-906-7120. You may mail your prayer requests or financial contributions if you would like to be a blessing to this ministry to P.O. Box 642, Natchez, Mississippi 39121. Come see us and may God bless you. How great is our